There goes a mama duck with her babies on her back. That is cute. Hi guys, I hope you're all doing great. I haven't seen you in a while. I just wanted to come on and just say hi today. It's been a while since I made a video and it's not that I don't want to make videos. It's just that I just really haven't had time to even get on here. It's just been, um, it's been a nice summer so far. It's been relaxing. My husband and I are really enjoying doing work around the yard and just enjoying doing things together and so I've been watching all of your videos and I don't always have time to comment but I have been watching them um, I'm trying to keep up with all of my comments because that's important to me right now I'm on my way to the hairdresser I have to get my roots done and um, my highlights and lowlights that I have done and probably have her trim this little part off the back to make it, you know, um, an inverted bob. And it is cloudy as heck out there right now. It looks like it's gonna rain. It's supposed to rain today. It's only 68 degrees for the outside temp. And so I have a sweater on. So let's see. My oldest daughter went to Sweden to visit my youngest daughter, Nicole, and my little grandson, Alex, and they had a great time. They kept Alex out of nursery school every day while she was there. So my daughter, Jen, was like in heaven. She's her aunt and her godmother, and he is the apple of her eye. She just loves that baby and so she got to spend every day with them. Nicole got to take a few days off and spend, you know, doing things with them and um, she just hated to leave him, both of them, when it came time to come home. Um, she had a nice visit with her sister and her nephew and it was just wonderful for the two of them and I would have loved to have gone to be there but you guys know how I feel about flying these days the fear is real I mean it's just I can't even tell you how afraid I am to get on a plane to go anywhere especially on a plane to Europe that's about what's been going on in my world I've been doing a lot of yard work um, my garden is looking so good, guys. I don't know if you if you watched my last video where I showed you how it was doing then. Now it's like, it's really looking good. Everything is just getting so big. And um, I had a few spots where I had some things that didn't come up from last year. So I had to go out and buy four more um, perennial plants. So, I went to Home Depot and they were having like a sale of their perennials. So I found some that were like just getting ready to bloom. And one is like, yeah, a couple, couple of them have bloomed, a couple of them haven't yet, but are just ready to. And I got this one that's like blue. It's actually a blue flower and it's gorgeous. It's a true blue. My little perennial garden out on the side where I showed you guys, the color theme in there is purple, pink, blue, white, and yellow. Just those four colors. I'm not going any other color in there. I'm not so pretty together out there. So I am so glad to be back and talking to you guys again. I've missed all of you so much. Um, I see you on your videos and what are you doing? just pull out. Well, Ripley got a haircut for the summer. My husband shaved him down. So, and he looks so much skinnier now. I thought he was getting fat. So we put him on a diet and when he shaved him down, he, 
it uh, showed how much weight he had lost. He actually has a waistline now, and he's acting like a little puppy the way he runs around. Before he was like kind of waddling, now he's like got the spring back in his step. I mean, he's only what, five years old anyway. Sophie's doing really good. She's got her little summer cut that's growing out a little bit, and she's looking really cute. Um, and I don't have my summer cut. I gave my husband his, except for me. Everybody in the family is looking good. I'm feeling it looking a little haggard, but hopefully after I get my hair done today, that will fix it. Let me know what you guys are doing. Um, now that summer's here, let me know, like, what are your favorite summer pastimes? Um, mine is working in the garden and reading. I love to read. Um, let me know what you're doing. What are you reading lately? Any good books? Uh, hi guys. Um, I had a hair disaster yesterday and I went to my, I'll show you what it looks like now because I've, I've worked on it. I went and got my highlights and lowlights and what happened was there was more low lights than there was highlights. And in the summer I like it a little lighter so I like a little bit more highlights than low lights. Kind of like two to one. Two rows of highlights to one row of low lights. In between the two rows of highlights they skip a row so they leave a little bit of my own brown in there you know to break it up but anyways I come home and my hair was like dark brown with highlights so I had bought a L'Oreal kit and I'll list it down below what I used and in a champagne blonde I left it on today for like 30 minutes pulled my hair through the cap and I made sure that the ones that I pulled through were like mostly brown obviously you can't tell because you can't see through those caps but my hair is now like I got that platinum color that I want like mixed in plus the brown that I pulled through that takes longer to process like these these must have been the blonde pieces the brown that takes longer to process that I pulled through the holes came out this like nice champagne blonde but and then afterwards when I took it off I put in the toner so it gave it like that like like silver look so it's it's not like I'm like all silver it's just just perfect just the way I wanted it and I am so freaking happy right now you guys probably can't tell what it looks like um, it's like an overcast day today so you really can't see but there's the roots um, I just love it so right now I'm going to the grocery store to get groceries and then I have to stop I want to get some physicians formula lip plumper and they don't have that at our Walmart, so I'm going to have to stop at Rite Aid and get that, see if they have it there. And then I'm going to come home. I have done absolutely nothing all day today, and it is now 12.46. I've done nothing but work on my hair and obsess about my hair from the minute I got up this morning. You should have seen me when I came home last night. I was so freaking cranky. I snapped at my husband, and I apologize to him today. He says, well, you were in a bad mood. He says, you took it out on me, you know, with your hair. And I said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. But, you know, as women, you know what it's like. If we're having a bad hair day and we're not happy with the way our hair looks, it can send us into a freaking rage. If we feel like we look bad and just there's nothing we can do, no amount of makeup that you can put on just to make your face look you know, in your head look like you want, it just sends you, sends me anyway, into like a frenzy. And I project the way I feel about myself out like to, well, not to everybody around me, just the ones I love, unfortunately. 
But anyway, so that's the story about the hair. Um, but I'm really happy with the color. I mean, some of you might think it's too light. But this is probably like the lightest I've, I have ever been. But something about it I like. And I'll probably be adjusting my makeup. Maybe wear a little bit more lipstick and maybe a little bit more color on my eyes or in the crease of my eyes or something just to give them definition so I don't look so washed out. But as far as the color, I am so happy with the way it came out. At first my husband said when he saw me with no makeup on, I had pulled the bonnet off, washed my hair, toned it, blown it dry, and it was just like going all over the place. And he walked in my closet, my makeup room, and he looked at me and he said, wow. He says, I says, what? And he says, I don't know, it's just light, really light this time. And I said, well, wait till you see me with makeup on, you're gonna, you're gonna like it. And so I worked on my hair, got it the way I wanted, put on my makeup, put on my eyebrows, and my lipstick, and my blush, and, and put on lipstick, mascara, um, a little eyeliner, on my chop lid, and when I came out, I says, now what do you think? And he goes, yeah. He says, now it looks really good with makeup on. I says, everything looks good with makeup on. But you know what? I got to do something. And I'm not sure what. And I don't want to go and have to pay for lash extensions. But my eyelashes actually, like, I was looking at them today. When I don't curl them, they actually like curve down, like down, instead of curling up. And when I curl them, then they just kind of like stick out straight instead of curving down. And I think there's a way that you can go and have them curled. And I know one girl on here that permed her eyelashes. She actually put like the perm solution and made her eyelashes go up and then let it dry and I would be so petrified. I don't know if it was perm solution or hair color that she did, but either one, I would not get that near my eyes. I'd be afraid I would go blind because my vision's not that great as it is. I need glasses to read and to read signs and stuff like that. I can see where I'm driving, like I can see the road and all that fine, but I really can't see signs. So I drive by sight, like, by surroundings like you know that's that's how I drive except if I'm on the highway then I will wear my glasses like so I can see distance I can see how fast I'm going I can see close up if I have to so I just got back from Walmart I'll show you a quick haul Charmin Arm & Hammer laundry detergent chips on the border blue corn chips pretzels, baked buttery crackers, prego sauce, tiki marsala, uh, chili sauce, Hellman's, um, Physician's Formula Conceal RX. This was buy one get one free at Rite Aid. And then I bought this plump potion for my lips. And let's see. Fudge mint cookies. I don't even know what this is called. It's a skincare too. It's for blackheads. And chicken broth, milk, ham, tomatoes, um, hummus, eggs, red skin peanuts. I got two of those. I got two filet mignons, some of this bacon. Um, it's like crumbled bacon for salads and stuff. Craisins, pineapple tidbits, cinnamon rolls, these little orange tomatoes, tofu, um, New York pork chops, the thin ones, two packages of salad, ground beef, flatbread, Italian herb, <coughs> meatloaf with mashed potatoes, and Marie Callan does meatloaf with gravy, 
and great value lasagna with meat sauce, Texas toast, butter flavored maple syrup, black olives, a purple onion, cantina style salsa, and then I got the hot salsa, three pepper salsa, apple cider vinegar, and got those, I got that, um, stacks, potato chips, and I've already done this side. And yeah, so that is our grocery order. Oh, and I got bread. And look what the bread looks like after I got it home. So it's like squished. Um, and hamburger buns. And then I stopped at the drugstore. And that's it, guys. So I will talk to you soon. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.